Hey chaps, hope you're all well. Um, I had a quick call out about uh, a garage key situation. So uh, they've lost the keys to the garage door. Now what I generally like to do is ask them if they can send a picture of the lock because uh, basically you're going to categorise them into two. So you've got the old T handle where the actual uh, key goes into the handle, okay, and you twist it. Uh, and then obviously you've got the more modern ones where it's actually half a euro cylinder and a black handle underneath. Uh, so I'm on my way there now. Uh, a word of warning on these ones because most of them don't come with any sort of exclusion around them. So the cylinder will be protruding like 10 15 mils there. Uh, and the first instinct to be think, well, I'll just snap this lock. But because they're only a half cylinder and the garage doors are made next to fuck all. Uh, I really wouldn't advise trying to snap these locks because what you're going to do is you're going to either crease the garage door or the, the mechanism that sits behind the cylinder, or, or sorry, should I say that the cylinder sits inside is practically made of plastic. So I really wouldn't advise doing it. So try and pick, pick, pick it. And if you can't, just drill the lock, okay? Don't use the lock puller either because, like I said, the garage doors are made next to fuck all and just putting the lock puller on it can crease it. All right, guys. Uh, so we're going to get there, have a look, see if we can get it open, all right? Take care. Do 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 do. Mm. Sweet. Right, that was a relatively easy job, wasn't it? Um, yeah. So this is the little sucker. So as you can see, uh, picked it open. Uh, just a bog standard five-cylinder pin. Uh, five-cylinder pin. Five-pin cylinder. Cause I've had no fucking sleep, can't you? Um, yeah, when it comes to the garages, um, stock up on a few half cylinders, okay, uh, short sizes like uh, 1030s or 1035s, uh, and it'll just cover you for eventualities, you know what I mean? So just get two or three of them in your van. Uh, the fucking fiddly, because uh, obviously with a door, uh, you can have the door open, looking at it eye level, undo the returning screw, and it's a piece of piss to get it out. Uh, but because the garage is basically, you have to have the door half open to get these out. So you undo the retaining screw from the inside. Uh, bearing in mind, sometimes they, they might have like a rubber flap around them. So don't flap if you don't see the <laughs> retaining screw straight away. Because I did the first time I come across one of them. So sometimes you have some sort of cover over them, but the retaining screw's there, trust me. Um, and you obviously normally you'll either turn it to uh, 11 o'clock or 1 o'clock, uh, depending, uh, to get the cylinder out. Uh, you know to align the cam in the middle if you will but as you can see this one was a bit further past so that's the cam bang in the middle there all right um so yeah have the garage door open uh halfway and then like push on the cylinder and at the same time you know rotate the plug until the cylinder pops out it, it, it can be a bit of a fucking fiddly job uh, especially if it's only been uh routed out a little bit you know the uh the hole for the door um but yeah uh, nice little money makers then uh, so like I said don't try and snap them trust me because the garage isn't made next to fuck all and you will damage the door and obviously that's on you then if you damage the door um, the older style ones like the T, the T handle ones you, you know which ones I'm on about like they used to have on the up and over garages uh, that you know they are a piece of piss to pick so if you can't it's just, if someone loses the keys for one of them if you can't pick that lock open then you shouldn't be a locksmith trust me because get a set of jiggler keys you will get them open like fucking that uh, but one word of caution on them is obviously from the outside uh, you don't know how far apart the, and you know how long the mounting screws are so uh, you know you can stock up on one or two of them from like places like screw fix wherever uh, but you might have to do a bit of it you know adapting so price accordingly uh, so you know give a rough quote but it's only once you get that uh, door open uh that you'll realize whether you have to make some fabrications and it just depends on how the inside of the lock's mounted all right guys all right anyway i'm going in so i'm going to enjoy a nice cold cup of coffee you heard uh secure all right